UFC Fight Night Saudi Arabia. Whitaker versus Eliskrov takes place this weekend. I'm going to go through the full card breakdown and in detail predictions, betting tips. Starting with the early prelim opener of Long Zhao versus Chang Ho Lee. I'm going to go Chang Ho Lee here. I'm really not interested in this matchup because I hate when they put two debutants against each other. It's just a really hard time to predict that. I think Chang Ho Lee's better, though. Better than Long Zhao. Long Zhao's had a long career. Chang Ho Lee is good, though. He is good. Um, better striking. 30 years old. They were supposed to fight two times now, and it got canceled. So they're fighting here uh, instead. I just like the, I just like Chang Ho Lee better. I just like him better here. He has more finishes. He has better grappling. To where Long Zhao... He isn't that good. You know, he lost to Christian Quinones. And we've seen how terrible Christian Quinones has been in the UFC. Other than, other than his first round KO win over Khalid Taha. Um, about two years ago now. Nearly heading two years ago. So, this guy hasn't made a single win. He hasn't had a single win since that, since then. And I just think, I just think Long Zhao is not that good. He's not that good. Had sus, de- uh, sus decision wins that have gone his way. I like Chang Ho Lee's finishing ability more. I think he's better on the ground. I think he'll put a grappling clinic on Long Zhao and get the job done. We move on. Up the card. <sighs> Magomed Gadzi Shyesolev versus Branson Rabiro. I completely butchered that name. Forgive me. I'm going to go with Magomed. Now, Brenton Ribeiro might have a lot of power in his hands. And Magomed, he, isn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't have much power in his hands either. But Brenton Ribeiro is coming off a KO loss badly to uh, the Chinese guy. Forgot, Ming Yang Zhang. Yeah, that's who he was. You know, he lost him badly. Brenton Ribeiro is good. I just don't trust him here. Bruno Lopez he beat. Good KO. And he does have these KOs. He's just coming around four months later to fight this guy. And I just think Magomed. I don't know. Good, talented fighter. You know, 30 years old as well. He's fought decent guys. Jose Medina he beat. You know, he beat 11-4 Mohamed Saeed Malim. You know, he's had good wins. And I think he is going to go out there. And beat Brenton Ribeiro. Outstrike him. I do worry Ribeiro is just going to chin him though. So this is one where I might regret it. And be like, fuck, I should have picked Ribeiro. But I'm going to pick Magomed. I think he's more skilled. Hmm. He doesn't have much of a ground game, really. Ribeiro does have good takedown defense. Should I trust my gut and pick Brenson Ribeiro? Hmm. Has he been subbed before Ribeiro? He hasn't. Well, way back in 2016. And he is alright. Magomed isn't that good. Hmm. I'm picking Brenton Ribeiro. I have to trust my gut for this. I can't just go with what other people say. I'm picking Brenton Ribeiro. This guy has a huge reach advantage over Magomed. Yeah, I need to stop. I need to trust my gut more often. I'm going Brenton Ribeiro by first round brutal KO. This guy is slow on the feet. Yeah, I'm picking Brenton Ribeiro. I'm trusting my gut more often. If he loses, whatever. I was wrong, but at least I trusted my gut. I'm picking Brenton Ribeiro to get the job done. He's got... A huge reach advantage over this guy. I think he gets it done for a long range shot and put him away. Magomed is talented and skilled, but I just don't think he'll I think he'll get caught. We move on. Up the guard. I'm going Brenton Ribeiro. Um Muin Gafarov versus Kyung Ho Kang. Now I'm gonna go Kyung Ho Kang. Muin Gafarov just isn't good. I don't know what it is about him. Um he looks like he can be talented, but it's just he's not good. Like, the Saeed fight, he got destroyed, mismatch there. And he fought John Castaneda and lost. He beat Diego Silva. Uh, 
Herbert Souza. He's had these KOs. I just think Kyung Ho Kang is a bit of a... He is a hit and miss fighter, but he is decent. You know, and he's finally taking his career a bit seriously now. Chad and Helliger beat this guy. John Lineker's not bad. He did lose to John Lineker, but that's not bad. I'm not going to try. What the fuck was that sound? I'm not going to trash him for losing to John Lineker. But he isn't good. You just tell. This guy does not good. He just throws shots like, like a loser. And I just think Kyung Ho Kang, although losing to John Castaneda, has a win over Dana Baccarell, Christian Quinones. These are good wins. No, they're not good wins. They're terrible wins. But I think this will be another terrible win to his record. I mean, Gaffrom's not that good. Ronnie Yaya, he showed decent takedown defense. But he was dropping Yaya in that fight. But he just lost two of the rounds by getting out controlled. Moon Gaffrov doesn't grapple. I think Kyung Ho Kang has better grappling. And I think he'll get the job done with it. We move on. Up the card. Renat Fekrudinov versus Nicholas Dalby. I'm going to go Renat. I'm not going to make this mistake to where, oh, he's going to get exposed for real now. We'll get to share a bullet in a second. I think that he's going to get the job done here. I think he'll get the job done here. Renat, I think he's good. Better than Nicholas Dalby. I think he gets the job done over Nicholas Dalby. Nicholas Dalby's good, but Gabriel Bonfim was having control time against him. It wasn't like, oh, he stuffed every takedown and destroyed the hell out of him. And gassed out Bonfim. And eventually beat him. No, it was like a comeback victory, really. It was more so of a comeback victory. From the behind. Wow, what a comeback from Gabriel, not Gabriel, Nicholas Dalby. We look at his other wins as well. Muslim Salikov, close fight. Honestly, a close fight where he got the edge over Salikov. Warley Alves, split decision. Should have been a split decision. Shouldn't have been a split decision. But you get what I mean. You know, close fight enough to where, and that was that wasn't a split decision though. But still, two one Dalby. It should be three zero, or at least a finish. You know, Claudio Silva. Why is it close? Like, I just don't like Nicholas Dalby making these fights a bit close. And I think Renat can out grapple him. Had a good performance against Bri- uh, Brian Battle. Obviously destroyed the hell out of Kevin Lee. And was beating up Zaleski. You know, Zaleski can show up sometimes here and there in fights. Can show up and actually look really good. He showed up against Renat. And Renat still won the first two rounds, but got hurt in the third round badly. I got Renat. I think he'll learn from that and get it done here. And, uh, yeah, I think he has more finishing potential out of the two of them. We'll see what happens. Renat Fekri, near of... Let me say that again. Renat Fekredinov should get the job done here by decision. Just controlling Dalby, making it boring. I can see him doing that. We move on. Up the car. He's got some decent power in the heavy as well. Renat. Nazra Hakparas versus Jared Gordon. Now, I was going to go for Jared Gordon. I was actually going to pick Jared Gordon to win this. Um... I'm not going to, though. I think now it's about KOs him on the feet. Jared Gordon is good. And I was actually going to pick him because Dan Hooker outcrappled Nasrat. And I was like, uh. But it's Jared Gordon. He's decent. But he's not that, oh, my God, if he takes you down, it's over. It's that's not the case. Like, should it be in Pimlet? But Pimlet's not good. Um, but still, Mark Madsen can't fight. Bobby Green fight was just a stylistic good matchup for Jared Gordon in hindsight. Backing up a lot. And he can make fights look decently alright. And he can be really good in terms of a game plan. Move backwards against Bobby Green. Just land big overhands against Pimlet. I just think Nasrat's going to catch him. Nasrat's really good, man. I don't like that he KO'd Jamie Malarkey. I like that he did that. Good. You should KO Jamie Malarkey. But I don't rate that win. Malarkey's not that good. You know, but then again, Lana Quinones' fight was a scrap. Lana Quinones could scrap. 
Ah, uh, now it's like one every round now. Just being, ah, uh, we'll scrap, but I'll, I'll land a little bit more towards the end here. You know, just got him every round. So, and John McDessie, school John McDessie, which is not easy to do. Like, look at Ignacio Bahamandes. He lost to McDessie. So I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with um, Nazrat catching Jared Gordon, and put him away. Yeah, I think he'll get the job done. Jared Gordon doesn't have that dominant wrestling. Like, when have we seen Jared Gordon dominantly out wrestle someone? When? Santos fight was like a clinch fest in altitude. Selecki fight he won, fair play. Chavez fight he did out grapple him easily, but I think Nazrat's decent on the feet and good enough on the feet and good enough boxer to just manipulate Jared Gordon. So we'll see. When we, we move on, up the card. Shara Magomedov versus Joelton Lutterback. I'm going to go with Shara. I like Joelton Lutterback. And he's a tricky opponent here. Honestly, more of a better matchup than Ehor fucking Pateria. Get rid of him already. All right. Better matchup. Way better matchup. But Shara will win this. I think people forget how really good this guy is on the feet. Very good fighter on the feet. Very very good fighter. It's just his takedown defense isn't the best. But the thing is here, Jonathan Letterback's not much of a wrestler. He's not much of that like slicky BJJ type guy. He's a guy that will trade on the feet with you. Honestly, not that really good on the feet. He's got some power, but he, he's just he likes to get you the own way on the feet with you. Obviously, he lost to Jerkis Duplessis, um, back way back. KSW in London. Um, but he likes to get the own way on the feet. Try, wants to outstrike you. I think this is a, a recipe for disaster for Joelton Lutterback. I hope he wins. Would be funny as hell, but Shara's going to beat him. I think Shara, obviously, even if this guy does wrestle, we'll take him down. Well, no, he won't. Even if this Joelton guy tries wrestling him, I think he'll show a good takedown defense. It was his debut. He is lucky it was Bruno fucking Silva, who isn't even a wrestler. But still, I think he'll get the job done. Shara. KO. In the first round. Easy work. I think Shara Bullet will get the job done. Better match than Ehor, though. Fuck Ehor Pateri. Just get out already, man. You're not good. Like, you're such a fucking failed project, man. Get lost. We move on. Up the card. Johnny Walker versus Vulcan Ozdemir on the main card. You gotta go Vulcan Ozdemir. I think he's just better than Johnny Walker. Now, Johnny Walker's good. And you can pick him to win this. I just don't think you can trust him with his chin. And Ozdemir is that same guy. He's a bit more patient now than he was before. But he's coming off a sick win over Bogdan Guskov. That was a good win. That was a good performance against Bogdan Guskov. You know, that was a really good performance. Now it was before Bogdan beat Ryan Spann and shit. But. He had a good, he had a good fight with Nikita Krylov. You know, did alright against Nikita Krylov in that fight. Nikita's really good as well. You know, and then Ozdemir. Lost Ankalaya, but gave a decent fight, but kind of just got controlled by Ankalaev. Ankalaev and Krylov are very good. Yuri fight, kind of just shit the bet against Yuri, but still, no one knew who Yuri was. He just came in, KO'd and Ozdemir. I think he'll beat Johnny Walker by KO. I think he's good enough too. I do worry Walker will get in the back and shit, because Walker is good at grappling a little bit. He is secretly really good at grappling. I just can't trust Johnny Walker. Can't trust him. Don't think he'll win this. Ankalaev just KO'd him. Anthony Smith fight. If you can beat Smith, you can beat Smith. If you can't, you can't. You know, Paul Craig's not good. Kutalaba's not good. Jamal Hill beat him. Tiago Santos beat him. You know, Krylov fight. Krylov out grappled him. I think Ozmir can grapple here as well. Anderson obviously KO'd him, so I think he'll get the job done. Over. I think Ozmir will get the job done by KO over Walker. 
and get it done. So yeah, Vulcan gets it done. We move on up the card. Mohamed Naimov versus Felipe Lima. I'm going to go Mohamed Naimov over Felipe Lima. I think Mohamed Naimov is better than Felipe Lima. I think he is. Um, Felipe Lima is good. Good prospect. But he had a fight scheduled on July 20th. I just think Mohamed Naimov is a tricky guy to beat. And he is very good. You know, he cheated lots against Nathaniel Wood. Cheated lots in that fight against Nathaniel Wood. Smart move. You know, and he beat Nathaniel Wood. Beat Eric Silva by injury. Whatever happened there. But Jamie Malarkey. Grip horns there. You know, upper weight class. K.O. Malarkey. Oh, Malarkey was on a winning streak as well. Um, He was supposed to fight Melsic. I think he'll beat Felipe Lima. Felipe Lima is good. I just think Mohamed Naimov is Mohamed Naimov. He can cheat against you. He can land big shots on you. He can grapple with you. I think he has everything. And I think he'll beat Felipe Lima, unfortunately. Let's go Felipe Lima. Smoke Mohamed Naimov, please. But he's not going to. So I'm going to go for Felipe Lima. Losing this one. So I'm going to go for Mohamed Naimov. Too good. Too sound, and I think we'll get the job done. We move on up the card. Kelvin Gastelum versus Daniel Rodriguez. What did I just say? Naimov, I think, is too sound, too good. Get the job done. Um, Gastelum versus Rodriguez. I'm going to go for Kelvin Gastelum, actually, here, winning this. Daniel Rodriguez is good. Is he, though? Bit of a one-trick pony where fucking Neil Magny's figuring this guy out. You know? Neil Magny's figuring this guy out. Ian Gary smoked him. You know, and I just I just don't like Daniel Rodriguez. I just don't really credit him anymore. I never really thought he was all that. Like his last win against Li Jing Liang, where he should have lost. Should be honestly on a three fight losing streak right now. His last win real win was against Kevin Lee. I just can't credit this guy. And I don't. I think Calvin can grapple. Um, I think he can grapple better than Rod, uh, D. Rod. Um, and I think he's just better than Daniel Rodriguez. Good boxing on the feet. You know, still look good against Chris Curtis. You know, can't take any way. Like he still look good. I know the head clash thing is controversial, but you know, look good against Chris Curtis in the first round. Really, really good. And then Sean Brady, we can't really shit on him for losing to Sean Brady. It's not like D Rod has insane grappling, like Sean Brady, and the credentials, the credentials of Sean Brady. I think Brady would sub D Rod in the first round. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go for Kelvin. Better, more ways to win. Um, and I think the second welterweight move, second fight at welterweight, will be better for him. And I think I'll get the job done over D-Rod. So, I'm going to go Kelvin. Better than D-Rod. I think he'll get the job done. Plus, good hands, big power. I think he'll get it done. D-Rod's not that good. We move on. Uh, the card. Sergey Pavlovich versus Alexander Volkov. I'm going to go Pavlovich. But Volkov's got a really good chance at winning this shit, man. He really does. Because you know what I can see? Pavlovich being more patient out there. Being way more patient out there. Because he just lost to Tom Aspinall. Got KO'd badly. You know, not that bad. It wasn't like he was shivering out cold. But he was concussed. Got put down bad. Um, and he's, I think he might be a little bit more patient out there. More patient out there. Doesn't want to overthrow. And Volkov just is better at range. Better than him everywhere. I just think that's not going to be the case. I think Volkov, I think if this was someone else, I think I actually would go against Pavlovich. But I think it's because it's Volkov and he's beaten him in spars apparently and destroyed him in spars, every single spar. Which I don't really like to look at. It's like the Chumayev Strickland situation. Like, I like to look at the previous bouts, not the, oh, the spars. There's a rumor about the spar. I don't really like looking at that. Um... 
But I just, I like to look at it my own way and how to predict the fight. I think Pavlovich will win this, so regardless. He is good, you know? And he lands to the head, you know? All fight to the head against Shamil Abdurakimov. All to the head against Tai Tuivasa. All to the head against Derek Lewis. Some to the body against Curtis Blades. I just think Volkov doesn't really shoot takedowns. Don't know, I don't think anyone will really, really will here. I just think Pavlovich is aggressive as hell. Is where Volkov's been facing Tuivasa, who is never that good. Romanov's never been that good. You get KO Rosenstrike. But I think that was just Rosenstrike being way too slow. Pavlovich, I think, he is plotty, but he's fast with the strikes, powerful. And I think Volkov will cover up by the cage and get put away. Pavlovich is good. And I think he'll learn from that Aspinall loss. And I think he'll get the job done. So I'm going to go with Pavlovich. Too good. I think he'll beat the shit out of Volkov. Plus, Volkov was supposed to fight Jilton Almeida. I'm not going to look at that too much, though. But still, I'm going to go for Pavlovich. Getting the job done by TKO. We move on. Up the card. So the main event. Robert Whitaker versus Ikram Aliskarov. Call me fucking crazy. I'm picking Ikram Aliskarov. And I'm not going to go back and say, psych. I'm actually going to take Whitaker. I don't think Whitaker is the same guy anymore. I don't. And I just think someone that has aggressive power, big shots on the feet, just big shots in general will put away Whitaker. Paulo Costa cannot fight anymore. Ever since he lost to Izzy, he has turned into a fucking guy that cannot fight. I'm not going to give Whitaker a credit for that win. And Whitaker didn't even look good in that fight. Why are you almost getting KO'd by Costa? Strickland beat Costa. Easy. Five rounds to nothing. And you were struggling to win. Yet you got two 30-27 scorecards to make you look a little bit better than beating Costa by 29-28. I'm taking Nick Ram. He's going to sleep Whitaker. And I don't want it to happen. I kind of want Whitaker to beat him. I like Whitaker. But I can tell when someone's declining. Whitaker is starting to decline. Maybe this ages terribly. He just somehow just schools Ikram. Then I'm wrong. Whitaker still has it. Uh, and Costa can, and Costa can fight. I just don't like it here for him. Two plus he put him away. Easily. And Whitaker, I think his takedown defense is overrated as fuck. Thank you to Drickus for letting me know that as well. <coughs> Drickus was took him down easily. Ikram has that Dagestani strength. I think he'll I think he'll out grapple Whitaker if he needs to. Um, and Whitaker, when he is on the ground, he looks lost as fuck. Doesn't know what to do. I think Ikram has the tools to beat this guy. And I just think Ikram has a lot of power on the feet to beat him. I might if I if Whitaker scores him, I'm wrong. You can clown me all you want. I just think Ikram's gonna get this one done. I just think Ikram's got this in the bag. More more tools. No, yeah, they both have even tools. But I just think Ikram is the one to climb up the rankings. I just think Ikram's the one to do it, man. He's got power, he's got good jabs. I'm not even going to look at this guy's fights against Phil Haas and Wally Alves. Two good performances, by the way. But improvement matters. Ikram's improving. I don't think Whitaker's proven much. I think he's trying to maintain, maintain what he has. And I think that's starting to slowly fade. So I'm going to go Ikram Aliskarov by first round KO. He's got lots of power in his hands. Not just because Phil Haas is chinny. I just, he does have power, though. Like, he does have stunning knockout power. I think he'll put away Whitaker. Put away Whitaker. Put him away bad in the first round. 
He's got grappling if he needs to. I don't think Whitaker out grapples him here. I think Whitaker has to play perfect for 25 minutes. And I think Ikram's going to find a way to get it done. Plus, they could have went with Usman Whitaker. Usman apparently accepted. They went for Liskarov for a reason. They want Liskarov up the rankings. They tried signing him against four different guys. But instead, he fought Phil Hawes and Warley Alves. They want him at the top. And the UFC gets what they want. Just another, t- just another fact in there. So, I'm going to go Ikram Aliskarov. Pulling away Whitaker in the first round. I think Aliskarov's going to get it done. I don't think Whitaker has anymore. I think he's declining badly. I, I, like, I, I didn't like his performance against Costa. He looked open. He looked like shit against Costa, man. So, I think Whitaker is done. And I think he'll lose. Aliskarov gets it done. Like, subscribe if you're watching. Bit of a salty ending there, but I think Alex Grav has got this, man. I think he gets it done. Peace. I know he's been training for Chemayev Whitaker, but I think Chemayev would have beaten him. And I think Alex Grav will as well. Peace.